Hey guys, welcome back again to another Technology Guru video. Today we are in Adobe InDesign CS6 and I will be showing you how to work with tables within InDesign. Tables can be a huge part of any project when you're working uh, possibly for a client such as a restaurant or someone who has all types of things they want to list out in uh, something other than a bullets. They want them in a table form so you need to know how to work with tables within Adobe InDesign. So the first thing that you want to know about tables is how do I get one into my document. So the first thing you need to understand is you cannot just click somewhere on the document and then go to table insert table. That will not work. You need to first have a text box drawn out on your document like so. Once you have that text box drawn out there within your document, you then can go up to table and then insert table just like that. Now once you click on insert table you will have this box that will be presented to you. This is where you decide how many rows, how many columns, and if any header or footer rows that you are going to have. Now I would tell you this, you can always go back at a later time and add and remove rows and columns very easily. So don't get too worried if you you know decide on the correct amount because as I have already said, you can always go back at a later time and change the amount of rows and columns, both that you want to add. Now, uh, once you get, you know, get done deciding how many rows and how many columns you want to have in your table, you then can go down here to something called Table Style. It is set to Basic Table, but if you click on it, you'll see an option to add a new table style. If you click on that, you'll then be presented with a few different options. Now, with this, you can actually set up a table, okay, uh, the amount of rows and columns as far as, you know, the weight and of the stroke and all that good stuff, and then name the that table style and you can insert this table uh, over and over again. So it's uh, something that'll save you a lot of time if you're going to be entering in tables that are the same design layout. So that's done through the new table styling option. Go ahead and cancel out of that and then once you're ready to go you click OK. I already have one so I'm going to click on cancel there. Now once you want to edit your table and change some things about the table the best way to go about doing that is you know you can go up to table and then go to table options okay but first you need to click down here and you need to click and drag and select the whole table. Once you do that the top of your screen now becomes all of the options you have for editing and changing your table. So from the left to the right, you will see the font styling here, the size of the font right here, as well as the text centering, you know, the, the text alignment right here. You can rotate your text here, and then you can align your text vertically above that as well. And then as I had mentioned earlier, right here is where you add or delete columns and rows. The top one here, if I click on the up arrow it will add a row if I click on the down arrow it will delete a row it will tell me then you're about to delete a row are you sure you want to do this and then I'll click OK the same way works for the columns which is right here now merging cells is something that's very important when dealing with tables you can do that by highlighting the cells you want to merge and then clicking on this X right here. It says merge cells. If you do that incorrectly, you need to unmerge those cells. Click on the button below that and that will unmerge the cells. Uh, right here, you will see the fill and the stroke of the table. If I want a background on my table and I want the uh, color to be something like a bright yellow, I can do that by uh, you know changing the fill color. The stroke color will be the exterior lines that you see see here uh, on the outside of the table uh, so you know if you want to change that color to something else adjust the stroke color uh, and then right here is the weight of that stroke so if you want those lines that are bordering your table to be thicker or thinner you can adjust it accordingly here uh, next you will see this little icon here which is kind of just showing you the layout of the table uh, right here it'll allow you to adjust your cell styles uh, so you click here and you can add new cell styles uh, this is you know your basic table if you want to change it to the new tables that you just created previously you can do that 
Uh, over here, you got a few things like row height, column width, that kind of thing. You can adjust that all over here to the right. So tables are a great, great way of uh, adding a nice clean look to your project. And if you want to move tables around, click your selection tool. Make sure you have it you know, to where you can move just the table. Click and hold and you can align a table just like you would anything else on your document. Uh, you can move it around and then once you're ready to edit it, again like I said, click inside the box and then highlight all of the table and uh, you can edit it that way. You can also go down to the table on your document, hover over one of the lines and click and drag and you can actually increase the size or decrease the size of rows and columns just by clicking and dragging here on the document. Now there you know obviously tables can be used for a number of things and I'm not showing you every little detail but hopefully this gives you a better understanding on how to deal with tables within Adobe InDesign. If you have any questions however about how to do it put them in the comment box below. I will get to them as quick as I possibly can. If you have any more InDesign tutorials that you would like to see tell me about them in the comment box below and help me out by liking this video, subscribing to my channel and guys thank you so much for watching my videos. I will see you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.